Hello, my name is Rich Mori, and I am a public health advisor at the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm here to introduce you to the contents of a toolkit to help you plan and promote your activities this September during National Recovery Month. This toolkit is also designed to help you plan events, find resources, and communicate messages about recovery throughout the year. This year, the toolkit is available exclusively online. You can download each section as a graphically designed brochure in PDF format for printing and distribution. This year's materials feature a wealth of information on the benefits of preventing and overcoming mental and or substance use disorders for individuals, families, and communities across the nation. You can find this toolkit by clicking the top left navigation bar on recoverymonth.gov where it says Toolkit. The Media Outreach section offers tips to plan and promote your Recovery Month activities in your community and online. In this section, you'll find templates for an op-ed, media advisory, press release, backgrounder, proclamation, and live read public service announcements. The Targeted Outreach section offers information about prevention, treatment, and recovery from mental and or substance use disorders for specific audiences. These audiences include those in the military community, individuals involved in the justice system, friends and families of those with behavioral health conditions, and the recovery community. New to the toolkit this year, we've included infographics, visual representations of related information. The resources section lists organizations that you can partner with for your recovery month activities, as well as throughout the year. There's also a feedback form where we encourage you to tell us how you've used these materials. In this section, you can also find information on how to create and build your social network. You can access these three sections using a couple of different ways, through the menu on the top left-hand side of the page, or through the right-hand side of the page in this navigation tree. Let's start with the Media Outreach section. The Promote Recovery Month with Events document helps you plan and promote both in-person and online events by providing tips on popular event ideas and online trends. Use the links at the top to jump to different sections. Also included in the Media Outreach section are customizable templates for writing and distributing media advisories and press releases. These easy-to-use items have placeholders for you to insert local information targeted to your specific community. You can find them in the Press Materials for Your Recovery Month event section. Additional pages include Share Your Voice Through Op-Eds and Online Articles and Recovery Month Public Service Announcements. Next is the Targeted Outreach section with facts about mental and or substance use disorders for both general and specific audiences. First, let's take a look at some general materials that provide an overview of mental and or substance use disorders, as well as commonly misused substances and mental health conditions. These materials can be used to educate people about mental and or substance use disorder prevention, treatment, and recovery support services. There is also audience-specific information addressing the 2012 target audiences. If you click on each of these documents, you'll see a page with an overview of key points relevant to that audience. There are also longer versions of each of these pieces, which provide more in-depth information than the shorter overviews. Last, let's look at the resources section. This section includes federal and state resources, as well as a list of other community organizations throughout the country, available for collaboration during Recovery Month and beyond. This section will assist you in developing a system of care in your community for individuals in need of mental and or substance use disorder prevention, treatment, and recovery support services. Featured within the resources section is the Fast Facts piece, a bulleted list of top-line statistics about mental and or substance use disorders and recovery. I'd also like to point out this interactive feedback form I encourage you to share your Recovery Month events, experiences, and outcomes after using our materials. This feedback is necessary to ensure that each section is meeting the needs of our Recovery Month audiences. So that's it. I am eager to hear all about the successes of your Recovery Month activities. I also want to hear how you've capitalized on this year's Recovery Month theme, Join the Voices for Recovery, It's Worth It.
to better serve the needs of individuals, families, and your overall community. On behalf of SAMHSA, the Recovery Month planning partners, the recovery community, and service providers, I thank you for your hard work and continued dedication. I look forward to celebrating Recovery Month with you this September and all year long.